What it do, Big Blue Nation? What is going on, Giants fans? Happy Monday. Uh, just wanted to hop on here real quick and just uh, go over the few signings we have made today. It's been a really slow past week with us. No really urgent or major news uh, breaking wind in New York for the New York Giants. Um, but today we made a few signings, so just want to discuss those real quick. Uh, number one today, we have signed... Uh, Former, no, former well-known uh, Niners running back. Um, he went to the Super Bowl with them when they lost to the uh, the Chiefs. Uh, formerly with the Buffalo Bills of last year. Didn't play too much, though. Um, he has been banged up a little bit in his career, but he's still got that need for speed. He's still got those legs, and he's a speedster. Um, we have signed running back Matt Breda. Um, you know, kind of caught off guard by this signing, I'm not going to lie. Um, didn't really think we were in the market for signing free agent running backs, um, especially when more news is emerging that the Giants could be in play for uh, Georgia running back James Cook, the brother of uh, Viking star running back Dalvin Cook. Um, so it really did caught, caught me a little bit off guard that we signed Matt Breda, but I'm okay with it. Uh, he's a good runner. He's a really good runner when he's healthy. Um, and I think he will be a nice little backup to give uh, Saquon Barkley rest if uh, he does remain with the Giants. Um, he has familiarity under Brian Dable being in Buffalo last year. Um, in fact, a key point of his uh, signing with the Giants was, in fact, because of Brian Dable. Um, with his short time in Buffalo, he really learned to love and respect Dable as a coach and on a, on a personal level. Um, so, you know, that's why he signed with us. I'll take it. He's a good backup. I think he's he's got a little bit more of a uh, skill set than Devontae Booker has. He's a lot faster. He does catch well out of the backfield. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I really can't talk about what his salary details are because I'm not sure of what they are. They haven't announced it yet. But I assume uh, with the Giants uh, really lacking of money and salary cap, I'm sure it's nothing more than a one-year uh, deal, team-friendly deal. Um, so that that's a good signing. I'll take it. It's a good depth signing. Um, I like where Joe Shane's head's at, you know, not overpaying for these overrated free agents like a lot of these teams are. I mean, look, look at the Jaguars. They gave Christian Kirk, who is no more than a bona fide third wide receiver, they gave him $84 million. Ridiculous. So I'm so lucky and very blessed that our new GM doesn't pay out contracts like that to bums, overpaid bums. Um, he's he's getting league value for these guys, and that's what we need to have a GM. Um, and then a short few hours later, we managed to sign our first defensive player in the free agency period. Um, we've signed former Jaguars and Ravens outside linebackers slash defensive end, Jihad Ward. Um, don't really know too much about him other than he's a journeyman. Um, he has a high motor. He has tremendous height and weight. Um, he's got good balance on the line. He can push people around when needed. He's got some good jump off the line. Um, but he doesn't get much playing time. He is a journeyman. Um, apparently, he's pretty familiar with Don Wink Martindale's defense. He was with the Ravens under Wink Martindale when he was their defensive coordinator. So he has some ties to that. Um, Wink says he did a hell of a job over in Baltimore when he was coaching them. Um, again, he, he expressed that he has a high motor. He's He hustles hard, plays hard, always willing to learn, always always willing to ask questions when he's unsure about anything. Um, but, yeah, most of these, I mean, they aren't big signings. And like I said before in previous videos, don't expect us to come out and sign these big fish free agents. That's not what we are about right now. We're in rebuild and tear down mode. I mean, we are in tear down and rebuild mode. Um, we're just trying to stay competitive. We're just trying to bring in some camp competition to these positions. And we're just trying to get better and just build brick by brick. This is gonna be a slow and patient rebuild. So I need you guys, I need you Giants fans to stay patient, have faith and trust in Joe Shane that he will take it and turn this team around. And I truly believe that. Um, but yeah, just want to hop on here and just announce those two small signings. Um, 
before I go, I did want to update a little bit about James Bradbury. So apparently word around the league is that the Giants are very hesitant on uh, releasing him. They know there's interest in him, but teams are afraid to overpay. And they, they kind of just want to wait it out and see if the Giants do, in fact, uh, just release him. Uh, but apparently word around uh, New Jersey and New York is that the Giants intend on keeping him for the time being. Um, even well into training camp, they don't plan on keeping him on the team as he has a pretty decent uh, dead cap hit if kept on after June 1st, I believe. Um, but they don't intend him on releasing him anytime soon. They're still hopeful they can find a trade partner, maybe by draft time, maybe by the start of training camp, who knows. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really have on news about James Bradbury. Um, but that's about it. Just really just want to update you guys on the two signings we made today. I will keep you guys updated on any more signings or trades we make in the future. Um, and I expect as the days progress closer and closer to the draft, you know, we're a little over a month away from April's draft. I think a little bit more uh, shit's about to pop off. Um, and apparently more rumors are circulating that the Giants are interested in trading either their fifth or seventh overall pick in the first round of this year's draft for maybe an extra first round pick next year. Now, that it's an interesting point because not too long ago, the Colts just traded for Matt Ryan, and right now the Falcons have no quarterback. Um, they pick eighth. Atlanta has the eighth pick in the draft right after our seventh pick. I can totally see the, uh, the Falcons being interested in making a trade with the Giants for that fifth overall pick. Um, and I, I'd be all for it if that entails us getting an extra first-round pick next year. That'd be great. Um, I don't think Joe Shane's an idiot like our GM is, our old GM was. Um, so I have all the faith and belief and hope that Joe Shane will turn this team around soon. I just ask you guys, I know it's tough seeing all these other teams make these big signings and big trades for quarterbacks like Watson and all that. Just know that Rome wasn't built in one day. Just, I, just hang with me, guys. Support us. Be patient and just know that eventually our patience will turn into fruition and this team will be good again. Have hope, have faith, and as always, let's go G-Men.